most important item in my fridge. It's so important to me that I have one bottle in the fridge and then a vat in the basement, just in case that bottle in the fridge runs out. But that's not all. I've got a second bottle at my fridge at work, just in case I get a mushroom craving during the day, which happens quite frequently. In fact, the other day, I had mustard twice, once for lunch and then again for dinner. Do whatever it is. And I'm not the only mustard lover. Mustard is the most used condiment in the United States. We even have a National Mustard Day, which is August, the first Saturday in August. But we're not the only mustard-loving country. <laughs> over 700 million pounds of mustard are consumed over the world. So today I'm going to tell you about the easy recipe to make mustard, history of mustard, and finally, the types and various uses of mustard. The mustard is very easy to make. It starts with a mustard plant, which is about two feet tall, one feet wide, and it's, it's kind of a bush. It grows thousands of seeds on this bush. And you take the seeds off, and you combine them, and then you crush them into a fine powder. And then you add some kind of a liquid. It could either be water, vinegar, beer, wine, or a mixture, kind of depending on what you want. And then you add a different flavoring, other spices, salt, pepper, turmeric, maybe even coloring. And then the concoction can either be mixed cooled, it can be cooked, or it can be aged, depending on the type of mustard again. And this same basic recipe has been used for thousands of years. Mustard dates back to 3000 BC in India. Mustard is mentioned in the Bible, where Abraham served cow tongue with mustard. Now, I love mustard, but I'm not eating cow <laughs> The Greeks used it as a condiment, but they also used it as a medicine. They believed that if you rubbed the mustard onto your skin, it would help relieve wounds, maybe from war or working in the field or something. Pope John XXII also loved mustard so much that he created a new position for the Vatican. Excuse my French here, I'm not, not, not a French speaker, but the, the title was Grand Montedere du Pape, which in English is basically mustard maker to the Pope. That's a lot easier to say in my opinion. <laughs> but finally, in 1904, my favorite mustard was invented. French's classic yellow mustard was introduced at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. And the rest is history. <laughs> so mustard's easy recipe and long history have resulted in numerous types and uses of, of the condiment. The types run from A to Z. The National Mustard Museum in Milton, Wisconsin, which now that next time I go up to Wisconsin to visit my dad, I'm going to be sure to hit this museum. <laughs> They have over 5,400 types of mustard from all 50 states and more than 70 countries. The variations include American, Bavarian, Boujolais, Beer, Blackcurrant, Chinese, Creole, Dijon, English, German, Grape Coupon, Honey, Hot, Wasabi, Sweet, Yellow. I could obviously go on for 5,400 more, but this isn't the sequel to Forrest Gump, so I'm going to end it there. <laughs> So the basic use of mustard is obviously as a condiment. My favorite use is on a nice, simple, classic sandwich. Just bread, meat, a lot of mustard, and another slice of bread. Now you could also do, go to the ballpark, maybe go to the Cardinals game, get a famous hot dog and slather with mustard. You do the same thing with hamburger, basically any type of sandwich. But it can also be used in cooking. For example, you can make mustard chicken, kind of a marinade, or you can make mustard potato salad. Or you could follow the Greek method and use it as a medicine. It could be used as a medicine, as an anti-inflammatory, an appetite stimulant, or a digestive aid. But there's also one new use that I didn't know of, and now considering this use, and looking back on my six years of long marriage to my wife who has German ancestors, I think she might have used this. Germans believe that if a woman sows the mustard seeds into her wedding dress, that it will increase the dominance, her dominance during the marriage. Really? So that was that was my
So as it can be seen, mustard has a varied and long history. The world loves mustard so much that it has permeated our pop culture. The Beatles sang Mean Mr. Mustard on their Abbey Road album. We all can't forget our favorite criminal, Colonel Mustard, in the library. <laughs>